Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. With all of the gold I bought in 2021, let's explore! Two thousand and twenty one has been an intense year of buying for me in terms of gold. Uh, I had a goal to try to accumulate mostly all gold, understanding of course that you must be agile in times and i I was I did stretch myself a bit in terms of purchases this year. I uh, bought a little bit of platinum as you can see here, showcasing here a little bit of platinum, two ounces there, but also. Uh, a little bit of silver, actually. The silver that I bought um, was when the prices had dipped uh, fairly low. And I bought some bullion, which is kind of unusual for me and it made for my largest silver purchase um, ever shown on YouTube anyway. But nonetheless, this accumulation of gold here has been a, uh, has been a lot of uh, discipline and uh, hard work involved in this. And a lot of it has to do with, uh, with you. Um, and, of course, uh, the uh, ability to be able to uh, work and uh, my normal full-time job and then as well with YouTube, I am most grateful for you guys for being a part of this channel for uh, so long here. And uh, it's been a, a quite a blessing. But nonetheless, uh, let's take a look and uh, a little bit of, of this gold that has been purchased, kind of a year in review. And as we look at it here, uh, you can see that most of these pieces are one ounce in size. And that is one of the goals that I had for this year. I really didn't set myself a number of how many ounces I wanted to get, but I wanted to try to surpass the previous year's goal. Um, and it looks like I did that by a factor of, um, um, shoot, well, I don't remember, maybe 10. Um, there is 30 Point five ounces of gold uh, in this um, that you see before you here, and I my goal was to try to accumulate it in one ounce size, and this is quite um, a difficult task to do, um, really under any um, income level because of other commitments and the like, and one can probably make the argument that I stretched myself thin in order to make this happen. Uh, but uh, I wanted to try to accumulate a measured amount of gold this year to try to maybe surpass my ultimate goal, uh, which I really haven't shared with anybody publicly yet, but maybe in time I will for the accumulation of gold. And I want, and But this is a variety of gold that you can see here of different designs and styles. And that's mainly because I do collect as well, and I like the different designs and ways to be able to accumulate gold. Um, and everything from a classic St. Gaunt's double eagle coin here. Um, and in order to meet that one ounce size, I bought a two and a half peso uh, coin as well in order to make that happen. And, and then as well as this uh, 24 karat gold guitar pick, um, just couldn't pass that up. And so I decided to get that. That's over a half ounce and then a 100, one one hundredth of an ounce uh, little piece from Scottsdale Mint as well too little tiny gold there. I also got some uh, gold backs, but I didn't include those in here um, in this mix. But nonetheless, everything from the Queen's Beast Collector coin, the Queen's Beast Completer coin, I mean, that was done um, in order to complete the Queen's Beast series. I thought I'd top that off with gold uh, for the one ounce sizes. I don't make that in a quarter ounce. And then I got another Double Dragon, Maple Leaf, a very nice proof 1995 Gold Eagle, a couple of the American Liberty 2019 uh, coins uh, at a relative, relatively uh, inexpensive price. One of them I got directly from the U.S. Mint. Another one I got from SD Bullion. As well as from SD Bullion, I got the um, the Panner, the Gold Panner 5.9s pure gold coin. And, of course, the American Liberty we can see there with the Mustang. And then I got a really good deal on another um, St. Gaudens um, 2009 Ultra High Relief. Uh, so a couple pieces from Scottsdale Mint. 
We got the Trident from 2020 here. And uh, it's a beautiful coin. Uh, $5. Very small denomination for uh, for one ounce of gold. But nonetheless, wanted to add that to the collection because I like the design of the Trident in the year 2020. And then also the 2020 Gold Marlin. Another one from Scottsdale Mint. Beautifully done pieces there. Found another bounty, gold bounty coin. Love these coins. So decided to uh, get another one of these for the for the collection here. And we can also see we've got another Britannia that I purchased for 2020. And there's a 2021 Britannia. I actually like the 2020 better, believe it or not. I think it's nice. And then the Tiger. The Tiger in gold is a beautiful gold coin that I decided I wanted to uh, acquire as well too. And of course, upon getting that with the Tiger, I had to complement it with the Platinum. So that was a re reason for the Platinum purchase too. Platinum is undervalued and I wanted to take a little bit of advantage of that this year. Also wanted to get some bars this year. Uh, Pam Suisse, uh, beautiful, didn't have one of these. So I wanted to get one of those in gold. And also the Royal Mint. Uh, wanted to get the Britannia in, in, um, in gold. And this is a beautiful piece. I got that from Monument Metals. Very nice here. Val can be Swiss. I like the compactness uh, of this bar. It's a kind of a smaller, thicker bar. Beautifully done. Um, the orange uh, with the gold, I think, is a little bit... Um, does not really match all that well. Wish they would have done that in black, but nonetheless. The other thing is the... Um, that I wanted to get was the 2020 Gold Libertad. And this is one that I got graded from Atmex at a relatively good price. I was shocked and surprised that uh, this is available for that price. They didn't last long. I also got another raw version from LPN at a really, really good price. First time I've ever wired money overseas. That was quite an interesting time. Uh, interesting aspect of it here, too. Then we have the 2021 Gold Eagles. One with the Type 1 that I wanted to get. And that is a beauty uh, for 2021, last of that design, and then the Type 2. So I got a couple of Type 2s, and then also to complete a collection, I got the um, the burnished one right here, the burnished eagle here from 2021. And that is a more collector coin, higher premium collector coin. And so there is that. And then uh, a couple of kangaroos that we can see here, the kangaroos. The 2021 and 2022 kangaroo, just kind of like these designs. Uh, none of them will ever beat the 2015 kangaroo, but I digress there. But I wanted to have these for the collection. Very, very nice. And then a 2020 eagle. That was a pretty good deal that I got from, uh, I think, Monument Metals at the time. Didn't have as many eagles in the collection, so there is that. But I do like the guitar pick. Pretty cool. And also got a really good deal on on another american liberty coin and this one's a 69 uh i don't buy it for the grade typically these for the grade but this would this was a better than raw bullion price so figured you know what grab another one of these now this design has grown on me i have now all of the american liberty coins save for the 2017 225th anniversary american liberty and now I'm kind of got my eye out for that one. I wouldn't mind having that one. They don't have the full collection. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, 30.5 ounces of gold right there. And to add to the collection stack, um, however you want to look at it. Uh, but there it is. And um, there is uh, one other thing. And again, I can't thank you all enough for your support on this channel. It means the world to me. And uh, but I want to talk about a few things here um, before we wrap this video up. And number one is what is the ultimate goal for uh, gold for 2022 is I don't know. Um, kind of reassessing kind of what is going to be. I, I, I actually don't, don't think the channel um, um, will see how the channel does. No one really knows. Um, I've been very consistent, probably worked harder on the channel this year than I have any other year. Um, with content and the like. 
Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's too much content. And so my guess is probably the revenue will probably go down somewhat in 2022. Um, and of course, um, you know, many people don't realize, but you have to pay taxes quarterly on revenues earned. And uh, it's based off prior year's earnings, which means that um, if I'm going to be earning less next year, I'm going to have to be paying more in taxes. Um, so that means probably less buying of gold this year. But I do try want to try to accumulate a little bit, a little bit more. But um, the other thing is too is is um, there's a bonus to all of this um, for the acquisition for gold, and so it's 30.5 ounces of gold. But thanks to the kindness of this community, on behalf of uh, some of my live streamers, uh, I was gifted this by a very generous and kind member of the community. You may remember I did a video on this. So this is another ounce of gold, but it's in a special, a special uh, piece. Limited mint to 250. It is the um, um, Harry Potter Hedwig Owl. That is the messenger. And this is a lovely piece of gold, pure gold. And, and this wonderful collector of 200 euro from France. So there is that uh, to add. Uh, as a bonus. Uh, amazing, amazing indeed. And then next, we have an anonymous gift that was sent to me by a member of the community, a, a graded 2009 ultra high relief uh, gold eagle, double eagle here. Very nice coin. Uh, beautiful indeed. And in fact, I mean, this thing is so good, it really should be in a 70. But nonetheless, uh, this was a very kind gesture by an anonymous member of the community. So that's 32 ounces. And finally, from Gold Chick Vibafell, who we've not seen in quite some time, she sent me a um, first year of issue, 2006 Buffalo Proof and Proof 70. Very, very nice indeed. Wonderful coin here in Proof 70. And a lovely piece here indeed first year of issue of the buffalo so that was very kind of her so that's 33.5 ounces of gold um so there you have it uh, all together here 33.5 ounces and um and again i i'm honored and humbled that you would take the time to watch and contribute to the channel and um one thing is for sure when you do uh stack on that's one thing that i it's a mantra that i believe in you literally put your money where your mouth is, and and uh, it's kind of what what I'm doing. I encourage you all to do the same, to stack on, to hold on, um, be fiscally responsible as much as possible. It's not easy to buy gold, um, certainly isn't, um, and it does take sacrifice. But I think it's good to have some in the collection as long as you don't overstretch yourself, and I think that's the key. And you, it's it's another lesson if you work hard. Um, and you it will pay off it will pay off for sure um, but the most important lesson from this video i think i want to send you all is as you accumulate as you accumulate precious metals it is incumbent upon you to spend as much time and resources protecting your precious metals that is absolutely crucial absolutely crucial folks uh, this gold will be put into deep storage off-site and in, in a way, the best thing to do is to not make yourself a target. And especially if you're a content creator and you show pieces like this, it's all the more reason. You must do absolute due diligence to protect yourself and to protect your holdings. And that is absolutely paramount. Um, to not make yourself a target, to have protection in the home, to have security, to have cameras all over the place, guns all over the place, loaded guns all over the place, um, and uh, but even and that's just for your own personal protection. Uh, precious metals, store them off site. If you have uh, the luxury of a friend or family member from where you can store, I think that is paramount. That way you don't become a target. Um, I cannot stress that enough, folks. That is so important, um, and. And if you don't have the luxury of storing off-site like I do, uh, I believe it's incumbent upon you to have the most, the best safe that you can buy for the money. Uh, it is an investment worth paying good money for. 
um, to protect your holdings here and um, and keep it locked, keep it safe, keep it hidden. Um, but nonetheless, there is that. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, for the holdings for 2021. I've done this the last few years and uh, thought I'd share this with the community. Um, and I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. I want to wish you all a very happy and prosperous and healthy 2022. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.